Why do you think BitBoy Crypto is so optimistic about Cardano? Watch this video to find out as well why BitBoy Crypto said why no one will be able to buy Cardano soon. Furthermore, I would like to share with you some information that could prove of great help to Cardano in impacting its price in a positive direction. Also, take note that this is something new that we haven't shared in our channel yet, so you better stay tuned. In 2022, BitBoy Crypto smells a secret Cardano explosion. An influencer from the crypto world, Ben Armstrong from the channel BitBoy Crypto, also a name where he's famous, wrote a video for his super popular channel about the Cardano in the last weekend of 2021. So in today's video, we're going to examine what BitBoy Crypto shared about Cardano and why he's so bullish on his cryptocurrency. However, before we delve into our topic, let's have a look at the chart and see what the price of ADA did during the final days of December. A look at the 24-hour chart of Cardano price analysis reveals a healthy market valuation of 52.88 in the relative strength index RSI. Furthermore, the moving average convergence divergence curve also resides above its neutral zone below 0.00, .00 and this means the current upward trend is valued by the market as having the potential to continue. Moreover, indications of these good market conditions would serve as an encouraging signal for buyers to enter the market and push the price towards the $1.47 resistance floor. Technically, the majority of the indicators indicate that ADA is poised for further gains to reach the 1.47 resistance level before further consolidation takes place towards the 1.60 mark. With RSIs in both the daily and hourly range showing a healthy market valuation, the current trend seems strong enough to drive prices upward, offering an ideal buying opportunity for short-term and long-term investors. And now, let's get back to the point. Popular YouTuber Ben Armstrong, also known as BitBoy Crypto, recently expressed his opinions about Cardano's trend. So BitBoy Crypto has stated that they painstakingly mapped out the roadmap so that they can catch any corner cases to limit the bugs as much as possible. Furthermore, it is described on the Cardano website as peer-reviewed and evidence-based. Then Cardano's laser focus means it is paving the way to become a lean and powerful machine that will outperform its competition. Even though BitBoy Crypto is optimistic about Cardano, it's an understatement. Apart from all the nerd talk about peer reviews, it's worthwhile to point out that Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson always emphasizes decentralization. Further, Cardano aims to lift people out of poverty and better their lives in countries in the the second and third worlds. And it is said that a large part of the reason why countries like Colombia and Botswana are struggling is that they do not have the infrastructure to protect the property of individuals. So to show ownership of land, farm equipment, or an insurance policy, what evidence must you provide? And when the government or a company only has a paper trail that dates to the time when the last military coup destroyed all the documents in town five years ago, or when hackers from Russia ransacked the servers. Moreover, BitBoy states that he bought Cardano earlier this year when it was about 15 cents per token. And the reason he bought a million ADA is that he saw this cryptocurrency's potential. Thus far, BitBoy Crypto's business has done really, really well for him. Furthermore, in this cycle, BitBoy Crypto predicts that Cardano will be worth four times what it is right now, which is $1.37. Nevertheless, here's the thing that sets ADA up for such a huge pump. Further, compared to other altcoins, it has proved extremely resilient to price fluctuations during the bull run, and it has repeatedly blown past its all-time high. According to his most bullish scenario, ADA will be approximately $8 to $9 this coming 2022. So how does BitBoy Crypto justify its optimism and belief in ADA? And in what ways is Cardano different from Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest cryptocurrencies by market cap? ADA is an outlier in the volatile world of cryptocurrencies despite its projectile increase in less than two months. Further, the ADA project describes itself as the first third-generation cryptocurrency, one that will solve the scaling and infrastructure problems that have plagued the first generation, Bitcoin, and the second generation, Ethereum, which expanded the use of coins to smart contracts. Specifically, Cardano seeks to solve issues relating to the scalability, interoperability, and sustainability of cryptocurrency platforms. And due to the increase in transaction volume, the network is slowing down and high fees are resulting. Also, a possible solution to its scaling problems has been proposed by Cardano's algorithm Ouroboros. Then, to drive down energy costs and increase transaction speed, Ouroboros uses a proof-of-stake approach. In Cardano's network, instead of having every node keep a copy of every 
risk-free blockchain, as is the case with Bitcoin, the leaders verify and validate transactions from a collection of nodes. After that, the leader node sends a transaction to the main network. As part of its expansion plan, Cardano employs RINA, or Recursive Internetwork Architecture, Developed by John Day, this network topology enables each network increment to be customized. According to Hoskinson, Cardano is attempting to reach the same standards like TCP IP, the dominant protocol for exchanging data over the internet. Also, an important aspect of interoperability is portability within a cryptocurrency's ecosystem, as well as its integration with the global finance ecosystem. And a seamless transaction between cryptocurrencies and the global finance ecosystem is currently not possible, nor are cross-chain transactions possible. Further, the only intermediaries are exchanges that crash or charge outrageous fees. Furthermore, various regulations relating to customer and transaction identities have further dis cryptocurrency ecosystems from their global counterparts. Essentially, Cardano aims to enable off-chain transactions between two parties so that they can transfer between chains. Furthermore, it is exploring ways to give institutions and individuals selective access to transaction and identity metadata, allowing them to trade and transact with cryptocurrencies. Lastly, sustainability involves creating incentive structures between the miners and other stakeholders, as well as building a self-sustaining economic model for cryptocurrencies. Aside from this, it hopes to build what its creators refer to as a constitution of protocols to avoid big hard forks like those that occurred in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Also, Cardano blockchains will be hard-coded with protocols in the future, and online exchanges and wallets that use the blockchain will automatically verify compliance when the application is built. Furthermore, automating the process could reduce the time it takes to discuss and implement forks. According to Hoskinson, it is the mechanization of social processes. So what is the Cardano market like? At the moment, Cardano is primarily used as a cryptocurrency, and Cardano's settlement layer includes its cryptocurrency ADA. Known as the Japanese Ethereum, Cardano was reportedly made available through ATMs and debit cards in Japan last year. With an eye toward the future, Cardano aims to move beyond the settlement layer into a control layer that will act as a trusted computing platform for complex applications, such as gambling and gaming software. Then, Daedalus is a universal cryptocurrency wallet that offers automated crypto trading and conversion of crypto to fiat. Moreover, it offers identity management, credit management, and a credit system on its website. In addition to the nonprofit foundation running Cardano, the foundation has cultivated an extensive network of partners to refine its algorithms and design governance models. As Hoskinson points out, the partnership is mutually advantageous since Cardano's research projects align with academic incentives and cryptocurrency industry expectations. So does Cardano's current valuation make sense? Cardano's ADA is no different from other cryptocurrencies in that it has the same flaw as its pedigree and ambition, and Cardano has little to show for its implementation. Since the blockchain was released in September 2017, only a limited number of nodes exist within it, and the nodes are all controlled by the foundation. The Cardano Protocol Standardization Initiative, for example, is still in the research phase and will only be implemented as Cardano's use cases expand. Furthermore, Cardano's technology is currently unproven. Further, some critics claim an approach based on proof of stake could lead to plutocracy in which nodes with the highest stakes rule the show. Also, there is stiff competition from other cryptocurrencies in an ecosystem filled with a lot of them. With Litecoin, an offshoot of Bitcoin, users can conduct daily transactions. Additionally, the aspirations of Dash, an open source project Cardano has been inspired by, are also the same. Furthermore, Ripple might pose a strong challenge to Cardano's ambitions to bridge the gap between traditional financial systems and cryptocurrencies. Therefore, Cardano's price at its current level does not seem justified, but a bubble might not be the best description of Cardano's valuation, however. As we all know, cryptocurrency prices today are determined by the market's performance in the future. Also, trading profits are based on future growth prospects, which means traders are prospering. With a long-term vision for its blockchain and cryptocurrency, Cardano has an impressive pedigree. Although Cardano's blockchain is initially intended to serve as a cryptocurrency, it aims to provide services not present in today's cryptocurrency ecosystem, and the vision is still in its early stages, so much depends on its execution. That's all for this video and wishing you a happy new year ahead. 
Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons.